Bounce from the body. This is standard clay companies. 365 cone six growing porcelain. So we got centering. Lid, I'm making it upside down. You see that? Kind of. Square rib. And when this stiffens up, I'll flip this over, use my Giffen grip over here, hold it in place, trim off the excess, and add a knob to it. But that's going to be much later. Right now I'm just going to cut it. Keep it from warping when it dries. And I'll set it over here. Okay, this is like two and a half pounds of cone six porcelain. I try to get the bottom pot about as wide, not quite as wide as the inside of the lid, and I'm going to leave a fair amount for trimming. Nice and compressed. 
probably close to a half inch, not quite. It seems like a lot, but you want a lot when you're trimming. I'm going to start bringing up the sides. I'll leave this top nice and thick and compressed. And the water that I use to start off is just water, but I actually add about four or five good glugs of vinegar. This is uh, porcelain, it likes to settle out, and I recycle all this stuff, so that way the porcelain keeps it, the vinegar keeps it suspended. Oh, crap. Good old metal rib. This is nice because you can change the shape as you're working. Just gotta be careful not to slice your finger open on it. Did that when I first started. Not pretty. can't see it but the inside of this is smooth it doesn't have any ridges or lumps where the walls start or anything 
It just makes a stronger pot once you're finished. This is right on the inside. Pull this up a little bit. Always try to leave the clay a little thicker on the very top so you have room to go in and out. And it makes the pot stronger once it's fired. It's like a chip and crack when you're banging around on the lids and actually using the stuff. Pretty much perfect fit, but I actually want to bring it in a little bit and make it a little bit too small. This rim is pretty thick, so I can trim a little bit away. And that way I'll get a perfect fit. Oh, the vinegar in the water also keeps it from smelling like ass after a couple of days. Otherwise, it gets really disgusting. I don't have any running water down here. So I use buckets. And some buckets, well, anyone that knows, once you leave a bucket of clay water sitting around without any vinegar on it, after a couple of days, it is not pleasant. So anyway... There is a small porcelain jar. Still needs to have handles. I'll make a knob for the lid. It needs to be trimmed up and have a foot. Let's see, this is 